Hey, everybody. Sean Galanos here. And welcome to the Love Drive Podcast. <sighs> Today, another pep talk. Actually, probably for the month of August. Pep talk August. And today, it's about the fact that you probably need to take it easy. If you're listening to this podcast, you are into personal development. And you most likely want to optimize yourself and your relationships. And I think that's great. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you want better relationships and you want more love. I'm glad that you want to figure out how to set healthy boundaries and how to say no with love and how to ask for what you want and how to deepen the intimacy in your relationships. I want that for you. And if that's what you're looking for today by listening to this episode, you should probably turn it off and find a different episode. Because today's message isn't that you need to do more work. Because if you're listening to this podcast, you're already doing a lot of work. And I'd like to invite you to take a break from personal development. Because you can't always be working on yourself. There needs to be periods of rest in your life where you are not working on yourself or your relationship or your career or your attachment wounds or your childhood traumas. You can't always be working on that. Just like everything in life, you need rest. And I'm not saying take a break from everything. I mean, I, if that's what you want, that's fine. Take a break from everything. Go on a vacation and don't do anything. That's fine. Sometimes you can be working really hard at your career and spend less time prioritizing your relationship or the working part of your relationship. Or sometimes you can be doing a lot of intense, deep work in your relationship. And at work, you're just cruising. What I want to say is that there is a limit to the amount of personal development and growth that you can do. And, you know, professional optimizers will say that I'm wrong and you got to mix it up and you got to keep confusing your system and keep working and just grow, 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 grow. And that's cool. If that's what you want, and that's what you believe in, then go for it. Keep growing. And I'm here to present an alternative, which is that you take moments of rest. Relationships shouldn't be all work. In fact, they should be a lot of play and a lot of safety and a lot of caring for each other. Same goes for your life. It shouldn't be all work. You need time to rest and to recover and to play. So this is an invitation to let you know that you don't need another course, another program, another self-help book, another podcast on self-improvement, another workshop. Another coaching session, another therapy appointment. You don't need all of that. Sometimes what you need is to not work and to rest and to enjoy life. I want you to have fun. I want your life to be, for the most part, easeful for it not to always be work and a quest for deepening and a quest for ultimate healing. I think healing is great. 
I also think life is long. And you can burn out on healing. You can burn out on work. You know that. Everybody knows that. That's why we take vacations, by the way, so that we don't burn out. If you work so hard that you burn out and then you need to take time off, that's not a vacation. That's actually recovering from the burnout. But if you take regular vacations, it might help to prevent a burnout. And then on those vacations, you can actually have fun. I think relationships are like that as well. And I also think that we should be playing more than we're working when it comes to relationships. Relationship is a place for us to be safe, to come home to, to be ourselves in, not to always be excavating. Excavating? One of those two. And it's not perfect, just like this episode isn't perfect. Relationships aren't perfect. To look for perfection in a relationship is a recipe for disaster. No one said they were supposed to be perfect. Your work life isn't supposed to be perfect. Your life isn't supposed to be perfect. Your friendships aren't supposed to be perfect. It's all messy. Because we're messy. Humans are messy. When we need to play, you need to play. You don't need to grind your way through another self-help book or another five-part course on healing your childhood trauma or a seven-step blog post on ultimate conflict resolution. It's great that you have access to those resources. I'm happy for you. (laughs) I am at times one of those resources. And sometimes you just need to take a break from work. Just like you can't go to the gym and hammer out bicep curls every day. You're going to get hurt. There's a law of diminishing returns. Your brain can only take so much information in. Your central nervous system can only take so much complex trauma healing at what at a time. So that's it. Just a short message today that uh, instead of listening to another podcast episode after this, you can just listen to some music to make you feel good. You can call a friend. And just chat about nothing. If you're in a relationship, you can call them and just tell them that you love them. Tell them three things that you love about them. (sighs) Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Have a beautiful week.